Alrighty then. Fantastic. I'm seeing Kelsey's in the house. How are you doing, my love? Uh, Jordan Madrid, and I also see a lot of people have tuned in. Travis, Glenn Lee, what's happening? What's happening? Bersha, I just noticed you checking in right there. Thank you all so much for tuning in, guys. For those that are tuning in for the first time, welcome. It's going to be a fantastic one today. You know what? We're talking how to be humble, how to have high performance, and how to actually be, do, and have a business that's uh, profitable and enjoyable. My name is Prosper Tarovinga, and I would like to welcome you to this exciting episode. You know what? I'll be telling you a little bit later, but I viscerally believe that your business should be profitable and should be enjoyable. And I also believe that, you know, if you're an online business person, you should be able to create for and to relate to those you're going to be demanding money off of. And um, every single day, you would know that I teach a four step system that is designed to help you market scale and grow your business so that your business is profitable and enjoyable. And then I lead a team behind the scenes of experts that shouldn't be taken advantage of for those that are thinking of doing that. And um, yeah, we help small businesses like yourself to, um, you know, um, grow essentially through digital marketing strategies. And every single day at 2 p.m. AEST without fail, um, I show up here for 30 minutes so that I can help you earn more money with less struggle. And I help you generate leads and revenue and basically work around the clock with PR and branding. Basically, I just work to inspire you so that you can do things that actually inspire yourself. Sherry Knight, this is the first time I've seen you on my live show. Thank you so much for tuning in. And um, Jamie Cole, good day to you too. Hope you're having a fantastic day. So today we're talking about how to be focused and how to be humble and how to be high performing as an entrepreneur. Because regardless of what's happening or what business you're in or what story you're telling yourself right now, you're in this for the long haul. All right, look, Moroni, how's it going, my friend? You're in this for the long haul. You might as well start thinking of it as if you're married to your craft, you're married to your business, you're not just hooking up with your business, all right? So once you get yourself into that frame of mind, you should now start planting the seeds and putting work in place so that you've got a one-year plan, two-year plan, five-year plan, 10-year plan. That way, you're not looking back like what Jamie is saying. Robert Brooker, how's it going, my man? You know what I mean? A lot of people burn out as entrepreneurs because they don't have a long-term strategy. A lot of people are just in it to make money for Friday. A lot of people are just in it to make money for the Monday. Now that, my friend, is not gonna work out. You know why? People will only do business with you when they've known you, when they've trusted you, and then they start wanting to, you know, you know, purchase stuff from you. Justin Sanders, how's it going, my friend? Dave Clapp, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for tuning in. And Scott Woodrow, how's it going, brother? Okay, so you might see all these high-performing entrepreneurs. You see Gary V was in, um, apparently Gary V was in Brisbane yesterday and in Sydney all doing, you know, shows, and then today he's in Melbourne and he's going to fly back, um, you know, to the United States and then he's doing all of those things. How does he have the energy? How does he have the tenacity? And how does he do what he does? I'm not saying go out there and be Gary V, but be the best version of yourself and be a high performer, all right? Because if you're just dabbling in your business, if you are not serious, if you don't actually know what you're meant to be doing next week, if you don't know what you're meant to be doing uh, two years from now, three years from now, you are not going to have the energy to move it. You're not going to have the energy to want to push it forward. So today we're talking about how to stay grinded, how to be um, balanced as an entrepreneur, because there's going to be a lot of ups and downs and how to actually know your outcome. Because once you are clear on where you're going and what you're supposed to be producing, it gets easier for you to actually connect with the people that are going to be giving you money. Once you're clear on what your outcome is, it's also easier for you to sell your mission. Once you're clear on who your customer is, it's easier for you to go out there and look for them. 
We just made a big mistake right about now and picked up, you know, the few people that we thought we could be able to help. But it's slowly, um, you know, turning into something, um, you know, un 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 unexpected. But once you really know who your customer is, once you really know who your you know what your expected outcome is going to be it will be easier for you to really reach out to those people explain to them what it is that you do and how you can help them and then help them get those results all right but it's going to need a lot of energy it's going to need a lot of high performance because people are tired of one click wonders people really want people that can help them get off whatever pain they're going through and get them some sort of result but it just doesn't happen overnight. I want you to maybe tag somebody who's had an overnight success so that I can ask them how they actually did it. Today I was actually celebrating. For some people it's 9-11. For me it's, it's celebrating a year of live stream videos um, ever since I started um, you know, going live on Facebook. My first video that I went live was the 9th of um, September 2016. So for the last one year, I've been consistent with my videos. Maybe sometime I was jumping off because I wasn't, I hadn't, you know, created this whole, um, you know what I mean? I hadn't created this whole, um, um, you know, scenario that I have. But consistently, every single day I show up, you know, Jamie, there's no one that's an overnight success. So, so stop trying to be funny. All right. So, you know, high performing entrepreneurs understand that when you have a concentrated focus, it goes a long way. It then determines how successful you're going to be. The reason why I'm saying out this today is because we are slowly getting to the end of the year. All right. Some people are about to be a statistic. Do you know what they say um, about entrepreneurs when they start their business that nine out of um, maybe nine out of 10 would not go past the first year and then it keeps going like that or six out of 10. I'm not quite sure what the statistic is. All right. We are about to get to the end of the year and some businesses are about to close. So I'm trying to tell you that if you really want to be going in for the long haul, there's a few things that you should be looking at right now. Most of them are being grounded, being balanced as a person because what you're doing right now, you have to continuously do it. I've been doing these lives for officially a year now and I can speak and say it's not easy. Showing up every single day for 30 minutes is not an easy task. You've got clients, I've got family, you've got um, you know everything else that's happening around you. But you've got to show up, give value and be there and also be present. It doesn't mean that in the whole year, nothing was going wrong. There's a time when we didn't even have heating in this house for two weeks. My little girl was waking up and she was freezing cold and I had to put jumpers on her. But I was coming online and saying, hey guys, how's it going? Let's make things happen. Not because we didn't or couldn't afford it, but it's people that were meant to be doing it would come in, measure and court, um, you know, you know how it works. And then you bring in another guy to court. And then after that, they say, give us two weeks so that we can, um, you know, fix your thing. And then they take their sweet time. But we're freezing in here. So it's not every day that everything is going to be 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 cozy. You've got to understand that once you say this is going to be your mission, you're not just hooking up to the business. You are actually going in with full force and making sure that you're serving the people you're going to be taking money off of. Greg Staten, how's it going, my man? You know? So once you become fixated at you being an entrepreneur and you don't want to be a statistic, you must recognize that multitasking is not an effective way of doing business. If you find yourself touching that, touching that, touching that, touching that, you are confusing yourself, you're confusing your customers, and you are definitely going to be a statistic of those people that never make it. Focus. Follow one course until successful. And a lot of people that, you know, you, you, some people will multitask and say um, you need different streams of income. Different streams of income are managed by different people, not by one person. You can't call yourself an entrepreneur who's got six, seven, eight, nine, ten things going there and you're the only person that has to fix them. People like Elon Musk, Richard Branson, it's not them. They lead teams that manage all those things for them. 
Even as an entrepreneur, you can't be you can't be the one fixing your website. You can't be the one marketing. You can't be the one on the phone selling. Do you know what I mean? So once you understand that getting a lot done in a short period of time just to shorten your to-do list is not the way to actually be productive. Just taking off your to-do list and dabbling on things. Go wide and go deep on everything that you touch. That's the only way you will survive. It's kind of like that though as a music executive. Um, the nature of the beast, especially from an entrepreneur's stance. Well, if, you're, if, if that's how you run your business, I don't know if you're going to survive through 2018. Albert Danton, how's it going, my man? Thank you so much. So at its core, if you really want to be a high-performing um, you know, entrepreneur, it's really synonymous with putting in concentrated effort, high leverage action at one item at a time. I took away all the nonsense things that, that I was using to generate um, you know, leads within my business and I focused on doing this Facebook Live. And this is how it works out. I planned the live before because I asked people questions. And once I ask people questions, I start reading and researching on what I'm going to talk about. All right. And then essentially I make sure I'm present within that live. So you can't be dabbling and doing all those other things because you can't be everything to everyone. Find your one thing. And then leverage all that you can, your expertise, your energy, and then the people that you work around, one item at a time. Our brains are not designed to be high-functioning, you, know, um, you know, all the time. You, you need time to rest. You need time to, 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 to stay grounded. You need time to be balanced. Jamie Cole says, I shared it to public so anyone interested can join. Thank you so much for doing that. You know? Sometimes we're just leaving some projects without completing them. And that's why I start calling people one-click wonders. It's going to be the end of the year. Some people have started calling me, hey, Prosper, what should I do? I'm, I'm not getting any results. Patience, bro. And Justin says, a really good strategy, though, is to break the workload into phases by the week. Well, it depends how you work, man. It depends how you work, but if you're going to be touching three or four or five different topics and, and, and just touching them and not really finishing them, do you know what I mean? It means you have to see all projects through to completion, one by one. Not letting the crowd force you to shift gears and tasks, um, you know, your, your, your gears or tasks on what to look at. Every single Friday, there's always a shiny object that is in your newsfeed. You know, every single Friday, there's always something new. Every single Friday, there's always a new conference to go to. There's always a new webinar to watch. You need to focus. But also, I'm going to make a disclaimer. Employing this deep level of focus, it's not easy to follow. And that's why most people don't do it. It's much easier for you to jump from project to project. You know what I mean? But it's not how you achieve your business goals. You know? I want you to be a true player that knows how to play the long game. I don't want 2017 to define you as a has-been. I don't want 2017 to define you as somebody who has played the game and failed. I want you to stay focused. I want you to stay humble. I need you to stay healthy with your eyes on the prize. Feet firmly planted on the ground. Let's get into 2018. Do you know what I mean? You have to be humble. You have to be healthy for you to be a, a high-performing, um, you know, entrepreneur. Because I don't know. I think it was um, it was uh, Ralph Waldo Emerson. He mentioned something like concentration is the secret of strength in politics, in war, in trade, and in 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 short, all of management of human affairs. Because if you're going to be doubling on things, people, people are looking for places to join. People are looking for places and leaders to follow. If you are not fixated at the one thing, how are people going to know you're the person to provide them with any service? Liz Bogani, thank you so much for tuning in. Tom, how's it going? You know, think of it this way. You know, as a business owner, 
your goal is to serve the clients that you're going to be, um, you know, um, taking money off of. You know, it should be to accumulate maybe five really, really, really deep wells instead of 50 shallow puddles. What would you rather have? 500 shallow puddles that mean nothing, relationships that are not fulfilled or partnerships that are not strengthened or five really well-created clients, really created accounts, five really um, you know, well-positioned uh, partners that will be giving you clients um, throughout the whole year. Because quality always trumps quantity. You could go in and connect with all those 3,000, 5,000 people that Facebook allows you to. But how many of them have you created relationships with? You could be in 500 groups. How many of those groups have you contributed value to or has, has contributed value to you being in them? You know? So at the end of the day, you really want to quantify where is your time going? What are you focusing on? Are you creating value? Are you actually staying grounded to the thing that you pledge that you're going to be doing? Because if you look at if you look at where you started this year, if you're not doing what you started doing, either you're growing or you are not focused. I don't know which one you are right now. Some people started with that thing going on and then they lost it in June because, you know, it wasn't yielding them results. And now they're starting to introduce a new product. People get tired. You, 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 you just get put in the, um, you know, too, you know, unfocused basket and people are tired of one click wonders. So whether this becomes, you know, like a philosophical, um, you know, approach, networking with people is one thing you should concentrate on. And people are creatures of habit. You really want to make sure you strengthen the relationships by being consistent. And how do you go about creating a product or a service if you're just dabbling? Because you got to know the people you're going to be serving. You got to know what their problems are. You got to study them. You see, for your work to be of any high quality, you have to grow into the person that actually knows what they're selling, knows what they're focusing on, and knows their industry inside out. And that takes time. That takes a lot of time. So, I mean, I don't know about you, but entrepreneurship is really about playing the short game. You know? The deeper wells that you create in your business can be cultivated and then you can reap, uh, you reap what you sow. What you put in is what you get out. So if you just put in your toes, do you think, you, you know, that your, your whole body would be quenched? I don't think so. You need to start playing the long game. A lot of us are just dabbling. Businesses are just going to go down and I, I hate to see that happening, especially when you are in touch with my work and what I'm putting out there. You know? So you got to look out on what you're doing. Create deep wells. These will become huge assets in your business. Everything that you put out, everything that you give, you get to keep. Because your customers are out there looking for information. You know? There's a few traps that a, a, a few entrepreneurs um, are, are coming into lately. Especially when it's coming to the end of the year like this, you know, right now, if you haven't started doing Christmas campaigns or you don't have a Christmas, um, you know, plan, that means nothing that you're going to try and sell over Christmas is going to be bought because you should have already started putting and planting the seeds right now, you know, so you really need to figure out how can you sharpen your focus. Follow one course until successful. First of all, you need to stay grounded. Yeah? Today I'm celebrating. 365 days ago, on the 9th of, 11, uh, 9th of September 2016, that's when I started and that's when Facebook actually allowed, you know, people like me to go live because I wasn't a celebrity by then. For the last one year, I've been consistent with my show every single day at 2 p.m. AEST without fail, unless something drastic is happening, which is usually a meeting with my accountant or something because he doesn't want to do, you know, uh, you know, um, online meetings. 
You got to stay grounded. You got to be known for something. You know? You have to be known for something. Because a heart of service is conducive to a high level of performance. Who are you serving? Do these people actually know that you can you have a cure to their problem? <laughs> Robert says, "Oh dear, it seems Christmas plan is jury duty." <laughs> That's for you. You know? So if you're grounded, your mindset is, is, is looking at the price, looking at what you are going to offer other people, looking at what, how you're going to serve them. It's no longer about you. So you no longer have a mindset of ego. Your focus will definitely improve, you know, when you stay grounded in the work that you're doing because you're out there to serve. If you're dabbling, it means you're not, you, you're not doing it for the other people. And people notice that stuff because you're just in it for the quick buck. I know, we, we, I know we are in it for money, but other people also want to be served. You know? Do you know what I mean? It doesn't matter who you are or what you've done. You already have a story right about now worth sharing because somebody else would benefit from hearing your life experiences. I always keep talking about this. Your life story and your life experiences have greater importance than you could ever think of. Stop chasing waterfalls. Stop chasing somebody else's dream in your news feed. Find out how can you be of service. Find out how can you, you know, help other people with the knowledge that you've acquired. We've all been consuming a lot of content. We've been going to all these seminars. When are you going to execute? You know? Remember, your journey is unique. Millions of people are where they are now because of having done something. And we're here to live, we're here to learn, and we're here to contribute. So if you have lived and if you have learned, your contribution to other people is to give them guidance. Because we learn from mistakes. And we can't do all the mistakes, right? So if you have committed some mistakes, you are able to teach other people. Stick with that. You know? Your journey is unique. Millions of people have already been where you are now and thousands of them are miles um, you know, away from where you are. Help them bridge that gap. So stop chasing other things that are not meant to be yours. Because if people ask you how you've gotten where you are, don't be afraid to share your story. You know? But until you've truly closed the chapter... Like a time like this when you've reflected, keep chugging away. Keep writing that story because it will evolve. You know? You know? I mean, at the end of the day, it, it might be a difficult thing to, to swallow because we are afraid of what other people think about it. There isn't a problem with having a chip on your shoulder for using where you've come from as motivation. You know, unless you start making it one. It's all part of your story that you are allowed to tell. And in the process, just stay balanced. That's all you need. Stop fixating on, on this being a business. Make it you creating your story and you will notice that you will stick to the one thing. You know? And in the process, you just stay balanced. Allow yourself to engage deeply and stay present with what you're doing with your work. Ask yourself, would anyone buy what I'm putting out there? Would anyone sit down and listen to this video? Would anyone share this video? Create a natural you know, incentive for yourself to just really work hard. And when you go in there and when you pick up an idea, you know, you... you, you you, you feel good about yourself and you continuously strive towards making sure that other people get to feel the energy that you have. And you keep working towards your goal. That way, you are not dabbling or jumping onto different things just because you feel like you're not, you know, uh, receiving the, 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 you know, the, the response that you want from people. Just do it out of your heart and make sure that you just put it out there so that people get to, um, you know, c consume it. 
you know but also there's also an important caveat staying balanced does not mean you know distributing hours and hours and hours and continuously doing things that are not yielding results I'm just talking about having true peace of mind in all areas of your life that actually matter to you. Because that's the reason why we're doing this, right? So figure out, is what you're doing really meaningful? Is the job you're doing meaningful? You know? It's your job to figure out if what you're doing is actually what you're meant to be doing and how many hours a week you should be working in order to create that balance in your own head so that you are not jumping from one thing to another. You know, remember, two hours of deep work involved in something you love beats eight hours of sloppy work on doing something you absolutely hate. And once you know your outcome, once you know why you're doing what you're doing, every single year will just come in and all you're doing is adding up the assets that you've created and you get to be known for something. That's what my whole problem with this whole entrepreneurship is. A lot of people are just dabbling because they don't know what outcome they want. They don't know what outcome they can offer to other people. Because when you know your outcome, it means having a meaningful business go in place. You know, your business may not be successful in year one, but if you've got your goals in place, it means you're just going to continuously work towards them, period. By, by you knowing what outcome you're going to get out of whatever labor you're putting in, you would know that Friday doesn't mean jack diddly. You will know that you will continuously work and you will get the results that you're working towards. If you find yourself dabbling, touching this business, that business, that contract, that thing, that thing, that means you're not focused. That means you've got no goals. That means you've got no direction where you're heading and you become a statistic. You know, so this is partic- particularly useful in days where, you know, you, 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 you seem like you're not heading anywhere and where you're making decisions that are, you know, of the short path. Having meaningful goals in place actually provides you with like a GPS or an anchor or what do you call it? A compass. And it puts your focus back in track and helps you make better and faster business decisions. Anything that comes your way that does not align with your, your, your goals and your focus is not going to touch you. So make it a habit to know where you're exactly heading. Your point is to focus And narrow down where exactly you want. Make the right choices and just plug away. The how will come. The way will come. Then you won't become a statistic. You know? The one thing that's stopping a lot of people from reaching, um, you know, with their focus is because we're, we're being too romantic about what it actually means to be an entrepreneur. Jeff Brown says, got to tell you, Prosper, I really enjoy... Oh, that's gone. Jeff says, that is the best term for it. Uh, I see so many people. Uh, Sanders, I love that perspective and that what you focus on will come the law of attraction. Sure. We're getting too romantic about what it means to be an entrepreneur. Being an entrepreneur doesn't mean flashy cars, Lamborghinis, Ferraris. It means solving problems. Seriously, guys, save the story you keep telling people. Even if you've made it, how many people have you actually helped? Do you know what I mean? Even if you've got all these accomplishments, I'm, I'm an overachiever. Like every single day, I'm coming up with ideas. I don't know if you saw what I just came up with today. I'm already thinking three, four years in advance. Even if you've made it to a point where you've got accomplishments oozing out from everywhere, accolades and all that, you poison your mind each time you glorify those, um, you know, achievements and, and, and you talk more about being a business owner to somebody else. That's how people, you know, that's how people lose track because they get caught up in being an entrepreneur. Of course, it was your choice to, to, to work remotely and quit your job or have a fancy office in, in a room inside your house, but nobody cares. They care about what you can provide to them. So it's not a special title or an accolade. Yesterday I talked about titles. You got to be putting out value out there. Do you know what I mean? 
Tell yourself otherwise because you risk losing humility and perspective that is required for you to stay focused and stay working hard and producing. Because what's an, what's an entrepreneur that, that has results from three years ago? Entrepreneurs are consistently producing. You should have results from yesterday. That's what I look at. Results from two hours ago. If you're showing me what you did last year, bruh. I'll tell you to go and Google me, pack a lunch, because you'll be there for a minute. But it doesn't mean you have to work hard. You have to, to, to be a workaholic. I mean, hard work trumps everything else, but without it, you'll never be successful. Put in the work. Put in the hours. Let, let your work do the talking. Let your work be do the heavy lifting. Because if you work, 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 and then you're like, selfie, 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 you know what I mean? Blend everything together. I mean, obviously, and try and get some sleep. <laughs> Once you get some sleep, you will go through, everything else will start working out for you, all right? Because obviously, sleep rejuvenates your body and your mind, your body, your spirit, so that you can function at a higher level, all right? You really got to do all the things Start formulating habits that will make you focus. That way you won't be a statistic. For every entrepreneur that makes it. You know? For every entrepreneur that makes it. They're happy, they're humble, and they're always producing. Alright? So to become a high performing entrepreneur is, you know, is to be a happy and humble individual. Be grounded. Stay balanced. With your daily workload, know what your outcome is going to be. Stay focused, be intentional. And start seeking that unique balance that's really, really right for you. Because you're affording yourself an opportunity to go places that other people will never go, you know. So here's my story for you. You've got genius inside of you. Don't be a statistic. Make sure you are actually going out there, serving people, being of value, and being true to yourself. I really want you to succeed. I really want you to win. Every single day, that's why I come here, so that we can talk about how to make your job easier, and how so that you can have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. I don't want you to be a statistic. It's getting close to the end of the year. Some people are, um, you know, when everybody else is holding on, some people are letting go, because it's hard. Only because they didn't focus throughout the year. They didn't stay humble. They didn't stay grounded. And I want 2018 to be the best year of yours ever. ever. If this video really touched you, share it to somebody else. This for me is no longer a popularity contest. I'm good. Somebody needs to hear this, all right? In the meantime, I really want to thank you so much for tuning in. This marks the uh, beginning of the second year because... Exactly one year ago, I started going live and I've been going at it consistently for one full year. So if you've been following me throughout the, the one year, thank you so much. Just type in the number one so that I can celebrate with you. I've got a small gift for people that have been watching with me since day one. So if you've been there since day one, just type in the number one. I've got a special gift for you. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day and welcome to 2018. We're here to introduce you to um, a, a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And I want you to be sitting in the front row seat so you can see your work unfold. All right? Here's to a good one. Cheers. Bye for now.